evening all. Sun's about to go down. And we're going to cook us some flounder because I'm starving. You spend all day at the shop fixing stuff and eventually you got to go home and do a little bit of cooking. Now in the olden days, way back when, I could step off that flight line and dinner had already be cooked, but that's a long time ago. Now I got to do my own cooking. <laughs> I ain't right. <laughs> I ain't right. Because I'm a horrible cook. <laughs> the Korea misses. She's a wonderful cook and I miss her. Someday maybe Someday, maybe. Well, here's our flounder. And what we're going to do, and I've used a lot of this mix here. It's almost gone. This is House of Autry fish fry. It's real easy. All you got to do is coat your fish. First, we're going to put some water down in there, and then coat the fish and uh, pour some oil in that fry pan over there and uh, we'll set that fish down in that fry pan of boiling oil and uh, uh, maybe here shortly we'll get some to eat. <laughs> now whenever you're cooking and it's not too hard to cook. I've managed over the years to raise up my two children and their children and and whatnot on cooking. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. Here we go. Let's pour some water down on this fish. Oh yeah. Wonderful, wonderful fish. Stick your hands down in there. You got to stick your hands down in there. That's part of cooking. We'll drain that water off. Now, I'm going to get me another bowl and I'm going to put that House Autry's fish fry down in there. I think that'll be enough. Now what we do, we take our fish and we put down in there. And we want to coat both sides of that fish with that house of altars. That's some good tasting fish. And mix. I gotta put me a little bit more down in there. I ain't got enough. Oh yeah. Set that over. This is gonna be good. Now if y'all can, if y'all can, go out there and get you some of that. Now, what I got to do now, I got to get that fry pan of cooking oil going. Here we go. Uh, this evening, we're going to use this Wesson vegetable oil. Pure vegetable oil. We're going to pour just a hair bit down into that pan. Okay. There we go. I think that'll be enough. That's probably, oh, I don't know, a quarter inch of oil. Set that off to the side. 
we get the fire started up underneath of here. Once that oil starts to bubbling up underneath of there, we'll put the fish into that fry pan. Now I've got uh, I've got to coat those other fish. There's four other slices. Is it four? Can't see what my glasses on. One, two, three, four other slices of that flounder with that house of autry. I got to coat those also before we put them down into this fire. Shall we? And then after that, after those fish are up and done, we're going to go eat. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. The birds are in the backyard enjoying that bird feed on the ground I put down there. And they're enjoying that oh, bird feed. Come on. I'm going to try to put you all back here. Maybe we won't scare them away. Come on. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, those birds are filling up their belly. <laughs> Ain't that a wonderful sight to see? I like to take care of the birds in the winter time. Taking care of the birds in the winter time is a is a good thing to do. You know, when you can take care of God's creatures, if you can, out of a not all of us can, but if you can, God will shine on you when you take care of His creatures. Now some of His creatures, gives us food. That's alright. That's the way it was meant to be. The flying creatures, if we could get off the face of this earth, I would fly with those birds. I'd love to fly. Can't do it all the time. But I would love to fly. Here we go. That oil is starting to shimmer. Can you see it dancing around in there? That means it's ready for those fish. that fish dancing around in there. Now we're going to put the other pieces of fish in this mix. You don't need to leave it in there very long. Maybe two minutes. 
two minutes on each side. Oh yeah. Okay. There's that little bit. Last piece. The only problem with cooking when you're by yourself is you always end up with too much. So I've got I've got six pieces of fish right here that um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to finish. <laughs> That. Set that down over there. Be careful. Be careful. Don't get your fingers down in that boiling oil. When you're cooking an oil, you always want to have a lid real close by in case that fire flames out. That, fire, that, uh, that oil catches fire. You want to be able to douse them flames. Let's turn this one over. There's that one. Turn this one over. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look good? Shoot. Be careful. Watch the splatter. Okay. Now, we've cooked on this side for a couple of minutes. We're going to cook on the other side for a couple of minutes. Then we'll be able to pull those off and eat them. What them birds in the backyard? Did you see those birds in the backyard? Wanting to fill up their bellies before the sun went down? Oh, yeah. Ah, ah, they're still back there eating. They're still back there. I saw... A male and female tufted titmouse. I saw a female nut hatch, white breasted nut hatch. They're a little bit more camouflaged than females are because they got to sit on the eggs. It's got to be real hard for them birds in the winter time. You don't take care of them, nobody else will. That's why God put you on this planet. And ain't for no other reason but to take care of his birds. That's why we're here. To take care of our families and to take care of the birds. Okay, I think we're done. Let's turn the fire off. I'm going to go get a paper towel. We'll put those fish on the paper towel.
Doesn't that look good? Well, I tell you what, if them birds in the backyard were carnivores, want some meat, they'd be coming in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> oh look over there there's a crow and a Carolina chickadee on the bird feeder I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to move this camera where y'all can see oh, don't fly away Cardinal don't fly away you see that She's the cardinal. Look at that. It's on the other side hiding. What a brilliant red that is. Now we might in a little bit see that Carolina chickadee come back. There, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Man, it was just there for a second. They don't take long. They get their little bit of seed and they run off. <laughs> you got to see a Carolina chickadee and a cardinal. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Let's try some of this fish. So oh, doesn't that look good? Mm -mm. I love fish. Flounder, catfish, bass. Oh, that's good.